Weather of Marquette. And we do have a pretty strong storm system and slow moving storm system that is moving through the upper Midwest and upper Great Lakes. And that is what is bringing us a good amount of rain and will continue to do so tonight into tomorrow. Let's get you to our local three radar network. We do have strong to severe thunderstorms breaking out across the central and southern portions of Wisconsin. And that's where we do have a tornado warning that is in effect south and west of Green Bay. For us, though, we do have steady rain west of Marquette, but a break for the central and eastern UP. We do have some strong thunderstorms across the open waters of Lake Michigan and east of Green Bay, and we do have some thunderstorms actually popping up south of Gwynn and also KI Sawyer Air Force Base. Now, as we look at the flood watch that is in effect, that flood watch, let, actually, let's get you to the flood watch here. My mistake here, I want to get you to the flood watch, and you can see that is in effect for Elger and Delta counties westward through Wednesday evening, and that's for the potential where we could see some flood especially in poor drainage areas and near small streams. Out on the water, we do have gale warnings in effect, and this is where we could potentially see waves up to 13 to 18 feet with wind gusts anywhere from 35 to 45 knots. And we also have a gale watch that's in effect for the waters of Lake Michigan. Now, as we look at our rainfall amounts here, you can see all this rain is coming towards upper Michigan and the upper Midwest. So we got a lot of rain to get on through. Let's look at our rainfall amounts here as we go through the next couple of days and we'll put this into motion here and you can see we do have rainfall amounts that will be totaling up one, two inches, maybe in some spots close to three inches or higher and that's over the next 24 hours or slightly more closer to 30. But like I said, with this type of rain, this could cause some flooding and some poor drainage areas and near small streams. Look at all the rain that's going to be moving through here through tonight on into the daytime on Wednesday. Just seems like it doesn't stop Wednesday night. Here's your actual cold front that's going to be coming on through and once that moves on through that's going to change the rain over to some snow in some locations and we'll keep that going as we go into Thursday. As for our temperature forecast tonight we're looking at temperatures that will be in the 40s some spots the 50s tomorrow temperatures all over the place coldest temperatures in the Keweenaw warmest temperatures near Lake Michigan and in the eastern UP in the 60s and then as we go into Thursday temperatures tumble pretty good with windy conditions temperatures Thursday afternoon only in the 30s and 40s. And speaking of wind, here is our wind gust forecast. We'll start to see the winds pick up tonight into tomorrow in the Keweenaw Peninsula. And then everybody sees windy conditions on Thursday with the strongest winds that will be near Lake Superior and in the Keweenaw Peninsula on Thursday with winds potentially gusting 35 up to 45 miles per hour or stronger. And with the softer soils, that could potentially bring down some trees. As we look at our seven day forecast here, not much sun in the seven day. We're looking at temperatures 40s and 50s for Wednesday, 30s and 40s for Thursday, and then 30s and 40s continuing for Friday. Saturday, I think we sneak out actually a nice day Saturday, but some rain chances late. You can always get your latest weather forecast.